most girls start dreaming about their wedding long before they even find a potential husband. So it's only natural that you want to look smoking hot on the big day. And our favourite facial cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Will Mooney, is here to tell us how. Dr. Will, six months out of the wedding, how much can I shove in my face before? There you go, bride sellers, <laughs> beware. That's what we're talking about today. Look, I I'm... meant that in, a, in an <laughs> operational procedure way. Yes, of course you did. Look, uh, I'm often bamboozled about by how much money girls are happy to spend on their frock and not worry about their face, because the face is the searing close-up, the take-home thing that you're going to have at the end of the day, right? Yeah, certainly for the groom. Yes, it is. It's what he says his vows to and means <laughs> it to right. at the same time. So six months out, what can you do? Six months is the time to A, change your habits, OK? To lose the weight you want to lose, chuck the cigarettes, you know, get yourself in pretty good order. And that's free for Stop starters. the heroin, stop the drinking. Yeah, stop the schmackos and all that sort of stuff. But the problem is it's usually quite a <laughs> stressful time. So I, do you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, that, you get a bonus weight problem. loss because you're running around being a bridezilla. Mm -hmm. yep. No, I think it's a good time to first start with a cosmetic assessment plan. Go and see an expert. And I'll tell you what they can and can't do. If you're thinking about injectables, try them now, because you mightn't like them. So you can try before you commit before the big day. Mm -hmm. And then it's a good lead time to start with facials, lasers, some simple things like that. What about start. a month before you walk down the aisle? Should this you... is the time to think about having your injectables if you're going to have them. Now, what we do for brides is different, I think, than what we do generally, because you are going to be under greater scrutiny than ever before. And you have to have dynamic range. You can't say I do with dead eyes that are paralysed. <laughs> so what we tend to do is lean more on fillers rather than paralysing agents. And the new group like Volift and uh, these fillers are fantastic for just giving you beautiful cheek highlights. And it means you can still smile, still look sincere, but still have that youthful glow that you want to have. What about the final week? Obviously, you have to make up your mind you want to do this. But then yes. the final week... This is when happens? you're biting your nails. I would say don't have rhinoplasty in the, the week <laughs> before your wedding. Yeah, Actually, unless he loves a black eye. Look, I concur. I think surgery is something, if you're going to consider it, six months is your cut off. Not because it's a big recovery time, but because you need a, a buffer period if you're not happy with what's happened. A week beforehand, this is the time to yeah, get your head in order. Are you really going to do this? Mm -hmm. But I think a, a light peel like this, these peels here... Fantastic for just giving you that last minute youthful glow. We've got a galvanic treatment, which just is fleece mask, an amazing glow, and it really looks fantastic before a big day. A fleece and mask? Wait, can I just mm, say that last one? It's amazing. Hair removal. Yes, that's important for you. I think some man, uh, man sculpting, what do they get call that, it? Get yeah. your back done, boys. Get your back done. <laughs> so if you're a bride under 30, Dr. Mm. Will, what would you recommend, if this, anything? Yeah, but look, I like a cut off under and over 30. Under 30, it's all about skin. And so we want to get any hyperpigmentation, acne. These are things that are lovely to fix before your big day uh -huh. if you're under 30. Fillers and Botox at relaxants I lay off but a subtle cheek highlight and maybe just a, a lip augmentation looks amazing if it's subtly and well done. And what about over 30? Over 30 different. Get a lot. Get <laughs> over 30 I, I really caution um, pati uh, patients or clients to not overfill, not over paralyse, but once again, subtle use of fillers and really getting an even skin tone looks amazing mm. for that over for that Can over. Can we talk about group. this from a guy's perspective yeah. for the moment though? Absolutely. We don't want the person coming down the aisle mm. after we said, I love you, please marry me, mm. to look completely different. different. That's All of a sudden, it's like, <laughs> I, I, it's like yeah. would, would, do you take this prize? It's like, this one or the one I proposed to? <laughs> well, that so you're talking us, subtle things, yeah? That kind of brings us to what you shouldn't do, I guess, yeah, before I guess you big day. Yeah. Okay, don't get a tan from the tan door. Okay, so you want to look like vaguely human, not vaguely orange. Okay, <laughs> don't over paralyze, don't overfill, and basically enjoy your big day. Such mm. simple advice. Have a few glasses of champagne. Makes everybody look better, uh -huh. don't you think? Everyone it's looks better. So many that you forget who you're proposing. <laughs> <laughs> so you've asked Thanks, Dr. Will.